gonna share six tips for increasing fat on a carnivore diet. Hi, I'm Jen. If you're new here, I am delighted to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back. So first of all, let's talk about why you would even want to increase fat on a carnivore diet. Many people these days find that doing a high fat carnivore diet where 80% of your calories come from fat and 20% come from protein create a lot of benefits for them. Some people say it helps them to lose weight, others say it helps modulate their immune system, some say it helps them to stay in ketosis, and others just say they feel better. I have done this style of carnivore dieting myself, and so along the way I learned quite a few tips of how to increase fat. My first tip is to use fat to prepare your meals. So for example, if you're cooking eggs, maybe use beef tallow or bacon grease or something like that to cook the eggs in. You can also use those same kind of items to cook a steak on the skillet or to cook any other kind of meat, really. Of course, you can cook most of these things with butter too. So the main go-tos for me are butter, tallow, and bacon grease. My second tip is to prioritize egg yolks. Now, I like the whole egg, to be honest. I like the white just as well as the yolk, but the yolk is where the majority of the fat is. So when you're making scrambled eggs, for example, let's say you wanna use eight eggs, maybe consider doing four whole eggs and four egg yolks. That will really increase the fat content of your scrambled eggs. Of course, if you cook them in butter or bacon grease, that increases the fat even more. And you can also add yolks to things. You can add an egg yolk over the top of your steak, use it as a dipping sauce. Lots of people put egg yolk in their coffee. So those are very simple ways to increase fat content in just a few seconds. My third tip and my favorite tip is to incorporate fat trimmings into your diet. I get fat trimmings for free from the meat cutters at my local grocery store and I cut them into chunks and air fry them or cook them on the skillet until they're brown and crispy. And I just serve those alongside of the meat that I'm eating. They are so delicious and very, very high in fat. About four ounces of fat trimmings has nearly a thousand calories and it's pure fat. So you do have to be careful not to eat too much depending on what your goals are. Including fat trimmings is a very delicious way to increase fat in your diet. My fourth tip is to just switch the percentage of fat that you're buying in your ground beef. So for example, if you typically buy 85 15 ground beef that means 85% of what's in there is lean meat and 15% is fat and they grind it all up together if you switch to 80 20 that is an automatic increase in fat intake and you probably won't even hardly notice the difference so that's one really easy way to increase fat without you feeling like you're eating a bunch of fat tip number five is along those same lines just choose fattier cuts of meat so if you're used to eating things like sirloin and roasts Try ribeyes and T-bones and flanken ribs, short ribs, those kinds of things that are really, really high in fat and so delicious and satiating. And that will be an easy way to bump up the fat intake. And my last tip revolves around chicken. The skin of the chicken is where a lot of the fat is. So if you're buying chicken, buy it with the skin on and make sure to eat that crispy, delicious skin. I mean, if you don't already, you are missing out, trust me. It's so, so delicious. You can also buy the skins by themselves from a few different companies and just make those and eat them like chips. Additionally, if you're eating a lot of chicken, you wanna make sure that you're eating mostly the dark meat if you're trying to prioritize fat. So I know those are simple, but I hope you found those tips to be very practical and doable. And so if you're trying to increase fat, try any of those out. I'd love to hear any other tips if you've got them on how you increased fat and also how you feel on a higher fat carnivore diet. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love for you to like and subscribe and honestly, follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm most active and we can connect every single day.